So gather around kids, let me tell you a story. Uh, I have a middle name. Um, I, as I, uh, as far as I can figure out, the only reason that people have middle names um, is to um, make sure that if you ever become a famous assassin that all the other people with the same first and last names don't get bullied for it uh, and for your mother to express uh, special anger when, when shouting your name and, and shouting for you to come to you and tidy up your room or do something like that that's pretty much the only purpose i can really figure out for ever having a middle name it's nice to have a spare but it's, it's like a spare tire you know in a car that i sold uh, really i don't know when i'm ever going to actually pull out so i have a middle name but when i got to japan in the 1990s um there was like um they could barely handle katakana names like for example whenever you katakanize names uh it, you know how when you draw out names in hiragana you'll use the extra hiragana character but in katakana you do a long hyphen sort of symbol to draw it out and uh yeah my, my name had that in it in places and, and and there were a lot of systems like bus passes and whatever that couldn't handle that because that's not a katakana character technically if you look at the the table of characters it's not a katakana character and it's confusing for the system so you know they they couldn't handle often it was really common that places for entering your name on a form in japanese only had like six cells because it's really unusual for a person to have more than two characters at most like three characters on the first or the last name let alone together so um, again if you got a katakana name uh, back in the day um, there was no there was no parameter for middle names there was barely enough characters for normal you know western first and second names i don't know what you do if you come from a country like where you know one, one of the countries where you, where you have like 10 middle names or where you have like really long first and last names um like thailand has for example sri lanka has i have no idea how they would have done that uh, it was hard enough <laughs> for me uh, so when i came to japan and i had to fill in sign up for a bank sign up for you know insurance sign up for taxes and everything like that there was no way to actually sign up with my middle name and i figured i didn't really need it anyway so i decided signed up for everything with my first and last name and I've been quite happy to go with that however I, a couple of years ago um, the legacy of this was that you know it meant that everything I had in Japan was basically it was like as if I, I came to Japan I just didn't have a middle name anymore the, it, most things I had to register I had to register with Japanese characters there was no, no provision for middle names and it was just a hassle so I just didn't do it uh, however two years ago when i was at the bank uh, to do a routine transaction i think paying taxes or doing something like that um, they mentioned to me oh for actually um you know it's actually mandatory now that uh, for money laundering policing purposes we need a copy of your passport and we need to actually ver verify a form of id that actually you know man matches your account and i said oh sure i've got you know lots of japanese ids um, and I had my gaijin card and my passport, which of course don't have a katakana reading on it. Same actually now with the driver's license, they switched where it used to be in katakana and they switched it to match my passport and they made it in Romaji. And all my Romaji ID, uh, my Roman lettering ID, has my middle name, uh, but it's all in Western letters. And so when they saw that, they said, Ray, you have a middle name. I'll let you know a bit of personal information. My middle name is James. Um, <laughs> It means nothing to me. Honestly, if you shouted James in a street, I, I would never turn around. And in James itself, I mean, you've got Iago, you've got, uh, you know, San Diego, you've got James, ha ha you've got uh, Jamie, Jimmy, Jim. You know, there's a lot of permutations in English. So I've always had this there. Um, but, you know, n nothing really in particular. It just adds a J to my middle name that, frankly, just is like an, an appendix. It's the third leg that I don't really need in Japan. So yeah they said uh we have to it's by law we for money laundering purposes we need to update your account information to have a middle name and i, I pointed out to them hey well when i signed up for this bank account you didn't let me have a middle name and they said yeah, yeah well we have to do it now so we're going to register your account romaji you know with all matching your passport but our systems require a katakana name so you've got to enter a katakana name so there I was sitting in the bank and all of a sudden I had to um, actually write down and fill out a form not only for my actual English letter name so they converted my account into English lettering but they also pointed out that for bank transfers like for pay, for auto payments for your gas bill or your electric uh, you know electric bill or stuff for my son and stuff like that um, you actually have to have a katakana name uh, that won't accept Roman lettering for bank transfers for bank information in Japan so they said on the spot hey dude um, put in the katakana as well and at that moment i realized as i was adding james james is a funny one there's like four obvious ways to write it 
And this was, I was on the spot. I was not going and expecting to do anything. And I had to pick one of these four spellings. And you can see there, um, there is a J E M U S E, which is a bit like how it's written, like with a heart with a S on the end. Um, so it's like James. And then you've got uh, James, which is like with a Z on the end, which isn't how we write it in English, but it's closer to how we pronounce it, perhaps. Um, with an emphasis on the um, on, on rather than uh, on the James, it's a question here as well. You have to distinguish in Japanese. Are you saying James or are you saying James? <laughs> you know, and it's a subtle one. So you've got um, either James or James, and then you've got a choice or saying James or James. And I kind of thought, well, you know, these ones, they look, uh, the ones with the hyphen look okay, but, you know, that can be a hassle for ID purposes, and the AE is okay. So I googled it, what does it come out? And I realized that there was actually hits for all the four different spellings for famous people. There's no standardized one. So I quickly checked on my phone. I, I, I basically asked Google, what's the most common spelling for James? And the, the highest number of hits came for the first one. And the first one actually works best for the bank as well. Another funny thing for the bank spelling, by the way, is that um, for uh, James, when you have the little small e to change the g to j, um, it actually, the banks won't recognize the small um, katakana alphabet letters. So you actually, uh, when, when, when it actually goes on a bank transfer, it actually turns it into a gae muzu. Um, you know, it's just a nightmare, and, and the, the, you know, the, the language and the systems for the language just can't handle my sort of name. So anyway, I Google, and the first one, um, which actually, on, as you can see on the poll, already is the, the, the least popular one out of 547 votes in terms of like preferred spelling, but it is the highest hitting, uh, the highest number of results on Google. So I was forced on the spot to suddenly adopt a, a middle name in Japanese, and I did that. And I chose that one because it seemed like the most common one. Um, so I did that. The, the result of doing that is all of my auto payments immediately broke because my auto payment information name no longer matched the banking information, which meant that all of my auto payments, my entire life, suddenly became completely disconnected and I needed to reapply for every bank payment one by one. And the bank forced me to do this, so it was really annoying. Um, especially given that the bank had kind of forced me, they wouldn't give me the option of a middle name in the first place. And I'd gone through nearly 20 years up to this point without a problem. Uh, but now they're forcing me to take a middle name when they forced me not to have a middle name. So, okay, I was adding one and it was an enormous hassle. However, I got through it, I survived. Until my son wanted to sell some Beyblades. He had a lot of Beyblades. He went through a phase when he was like three and four years old, had a ton of them, you know, mint condition, and we wanted to go sell them on Mercari. We, we thought about throwing them away. <clears throat> But it occurred to us that, um, yeah, there are collectors for this stuff, and we had, we had tons of them. So just selling them is like one big thing, and let, let collectors go through and pick out maybe, you know, see, see if there, there's anything that uh, may, maybe it'll attract a buyer. So we put it up there for about like $35 for like quite a lot. There was like more than, geez, I, I, I think it was like more than 100 anyway. Um, so it was pretty good value. We put up for about 30 bucks. So it was actually 38, 3,800 yen, about 32 US dollars. We, we put it up and sold it. And it was the first time I've ever sold anything on the Japanese flea market website, Mercari. Very exciting. And so then I went to go and collect my winnings. However, Mercari, uh, for those of you that know, it's, it's basically, you know, you can sell your used stuff online and it's, it's quite fun and exciting to do, especially to sell it and to ship it and whatever. Um, however, to collect your winnings, you have to go and enter your bank information, which I did. Uh, however, it said that uh, your bank information has to match your ID information. And I'd registered on the site with the regular Katakana first and last name. So I re-registered um, to uh, make it match. And when you go to change your ID, you actually have to submit the ID that you're matching it to. So I got my passport and I said, OK, I'll, I'll, I'll make it go Katakana because it's you know going to have the middle name on it. And uh, I did that, but of course, because I submitted in Romaji, it kept getting rejected. And every time it got rejected, every time I submitted it and then I tried to do the auto payment from Mercari, it would reject the auto payment and dock me 200 yen. And I did this like four times trying to uh, get it through. And so basically, I realized that I needed uh, a form of ID that matched, uh, that had katakana that matched my bank account other than my bank account. So I went through the list of forms of ID that they recognize and things like your gaijin card and your passport, they don't have katakanaized middle names, but I noticed it had an insurance card thing on it. 
And so I went and dug up my old insurance card, which I had similarly just signed up without really thinking about uh, years ago. And I discovered that my insurance card had a katakana middle name on it, but it was signed. Uh, it was spelled the way of the bottom, the most popular one, the James. I just decided on that particular day that I'd never really thought about the spelling of it. And I'd used a different spelling. So I could use this as proof of ID, but it was different to the spelling on my bank account. So I called up the insurance company, um, said, hey, can I change the spelling of my name? And they actually said, no, this is actually linked to taxes and social security and all that sort of stuff. So this is pretty official. And no, you can't really change it very easily. So I went to the bank and I said, hey, um, I've got this problem. I've got this insurance card and everything that I need to give a proof of ID that matches the katakana and the bank, you know, it has a different spelling. Can I correct the spelling on my bank account? And surprisingly enough, the bank was like, sure. So <laughs> I changed the spelling on my bank account uh, from that middle from the the original unpopular one to the the to the one down the bottom which is just happens to be the most popular in the poll that i took but it was actually um yeah I, so it matched the id uh that i had the personal id that i had to verify the account and then i changed my mercari information to match that and then i could finally get the money out i if if you leave mercari and by the way if you are going to use mercari this is a real trap if I, I i heard later that there are people you have like an eight month window to take out your money to, to download your money or else they just claim it so um plus it can go away through just the attempted bank transfer fees as well so, um, yeah, I was worried myself that I was just going to lose all this money. Not that it's a lot, it's like 30 bucks, but it's still, I mean, you know, it's the principle of the matter and, and, and just the fact that, you know, it was happening because of an ID problem. So the good news is, is that I fixed it and the Mercari payment went through. The bad news is, is of course, it's now broken all of my auto payments again. And now I have to, I'll have to re-sign up for every single auto payment that I do, which is an enormous, an enormous hassle. And this is part of living in Japan with, with a katakana name that this happens. However, it did remind me that, yeah, when I Googled a couple of times, I mean, James is a pretty plain middle name, right? Or, or plain name. It's a very common, pretty boring. It's like John, you know, Jack and Mary, right? Um, James is there, but in, in Japanese, it's surprisingly difficult to spell. And it's particularly, even if you go to Wikipedia, Japanese Wikipedia, and you look up famous Jameses, and it has the whole list of Jameses, and like literally it's got all four spellings in katakana. There is no standardized katakana way to spell it. So yeah, if you actually have a real first name James, or a last name James, or a middle name James, I can understand that it's actually really hard to pick out the spelling and, and get it. So I just thought I'd go to Twitter and just for fun I'd say, hey, if you had to katakana as James, how would you do it? And it's funny how the poll came back. Uh, a few people, including a few actual Jameses, said that they used the first spelling. Um, most people seem to feel like the last one was the most natural. Um, for interest, uh, the banks definitely seem to prefer the first one, and many actual Jameses seem to prefer that. Um, however, not many people um, seem to actually use that. The second James, with the, with the 1010 on the end, with the, with the Z on the end, apparently that's how James Brown's uh, music is sold in Japan. Uh, it is... Uh, um, so yeah, that's a thing. If James Brown uh, uses the second, the thirty-one percent one, um, the James uh, with the long one but an S on the end. If you're a fan of Thomas the Tank Engine and you're familiar with the red, I believe number six engine, uh, James, uh, that's how they sell all of his toys and do all of his marketing is with uh, option number three there at eighteen percent. And if you are a fan of uh, Mr. Bond, um, Mr. Bond uh, uses the final spelling. So uh, I suppose now I'm, now I'm using the, the I, I like to think the Sean Connery version uh, of Bond spelling. Uh, that's that's what I'll go along with. Um, so uh, yes. Uh, however, the whole result for me, frankly, was uh, yes. I wanted to say something like "smells like victory," but uh, I, I picked a gift which says "you smell funny." It was a long and very stressful day, and uh, you know what? That's kind of how I felt like they were treating me the entire time. So it, it worked. Uh, yes, I am Tiko Sam. That's very observant of you. But that's what happened with my middle name drama this week. Um, I'd say it ended well. So uh, back into the comments. Romaji has accepted in official documents. It is on the Gaijin card. It is on but, but banks. Even on banks, they, they accept it. But And this is where I even get confused with my bank sometimes, AV84K. Um, that because my bank label has my Romaji name matching my passport, I, sometimes I think for auto payment, oh, it's my Romaji name, but then it, it doesn't work and I get dinged and I have to do it again. And it's because for all the auto payment stuff, even though my account has my Romaji name like on it officially, I have to use my Katakana name like for all of the bank transfer things because the banking system in Japan uses that. It's 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> Hiko J. Simpson, thank you, Mr. Gordy Chap. That's, that's, yes, that's exactly what it's like, I think. Lysander45, um, your katakana full name would be massive, um, having to go with. Apparently, people have junior as well, that can be a real hassle. Uh, arguably easier than the third, actually. The third, uh, someone pointed out, I said, if you, you call the third, you deserve everything that you get, kind of facetiously. And someone pointed out Lupin the third, uh, the French bank robber, is like a famous, famous loved character in Japan. So Sansei, yeah, it's actually actually easy to be, it's easier to be the third than it is to be a junior. Jay's M, um, break all the auto payments again. Yes, I broke all the auto payments again just to get the stupid buddy $30 from um, Mercari. I mean, my whole life is now on a more stable footing, but yes, that's what I had to do. That was a real pain. Uh, your friend Christian had a similar conundrum. Oh yeah, Christian, Christian. Yes, yes indeed. It ain't easy being James. That's damn straight. Uh, oh. Katie and Eric, good to have you. Your bank forced you to use all caps for your name. Yeah, that's standard for banks. We never remember. It causes a mess every time we have to go do anything. Yes, yeah, so I have all caps, but then you also have to use katakana, and then I forget which one to use, and it's very, very challenging.